up everyone? So in today's video, I finally get to install the first off-road mod for my 2017 Toyota Tacoma, and that is the Victory 4x4 Rock Sliders. Hopefully you guys got to see the previous video of me going to collect them and bringing them home, but in today's video, they're finally going on the truck. So I've come to this little off-road park that I found just to get off the concrete, and I'm gonna show you guys, I parked the truck in a way, kind of staged it with that rock sitting right there. I wanted to show you guys a good visual before and after. Now obviously, you know, I just placed that rock there, so if it was sticking up or something, the rock rail goes just under the blue portion of my truck there, so it would really protect the truck in any case. And the whole truck actually slid to the left when I was driving up here, so if there was something sticking out a little bit more, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of protection right up underneath. So again, I'll put a clip of this later in the video when I have the rock sliders on, to show you guys a good visual before and after. So now that the truck is all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the passenger side just to get myself familiar with it. Then I'll walk you guys through doing the driver's side because I've heard it's a little more involved. So I'll show you guys that process here shortly. All right guys, so we're all finished up with one side. I decided to get the truck out of the rain so we weren't getting rained on, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the passenger side. These look so cool. I love how flush they are. I have seen some that stick out, you know, like a good four or five inches. So I really like how flush they are on the truck. So you can see them with it on, and then of course without them. So, so before we go ahead and put on the other slider, I just wanted to weigh it so that way you guys can get an idea of how much I'm adding to the truck. These are 73 pounds a piece. I'm pretty much adding a person, a person to the truck all the time. So these are definitely heavy duty. So the first step in this process, we are just lining up the rail on the side. If you had a floor jack, I'd highly recommend that. I don't have one right now. So we're just kind of rigging this up as a third person to help hold it in place. The first bolt that I'm going to adjust is this one right here. So I'm gonna be taking that out. I'm actually gonna reuse it. They do supply extra hardware to replace it, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and reuse that bolt. That's gonna be the first one to hold this in place for us. So that bolt underneath is a 14 millimeter. So that bolt is out. Actually, there's a couple more things that we have to do before we install this. I need to loosen up this right here so that way the brackets from the rock rail can slide underneath it and then pop that back into place. So what I had to do on the passenger side as well, there's this little tab here that's kind of just adhesived on and I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to go along the edges of it. You can just peel this right off. This reveals a huge hole that one of the brackets will go on and then behind that is this much harder plastic cap. Just pop that right out and this will be where the other bolt goes in the front. And now what I need to do is loosen up these bolts that hold these wires in place. And now the only other thing that we have to do is I'm going to remove these two bolts here that hold an electronics box right here. If you guys can see this big box right here, I'm gonna remove that, that way I have access to the bolt that's behind there. But if you have a deeper socket, I'm, pro I'm sure this is like a 10 or 11. I'm gonna be using my open-ended wrench since I don't have a socket deep enough for it. So with those off, you guys can see the hole that's right here. Hopefully you can see, sorry for the like, that hole right there is why I need to remove this box. I'm just gonna let it sit on the other side and that way I can put a bolt right through this hole here. We're gonna go ahead and get this into place like we did on the other side. So we'll slowly inch it towards the truck and remember then we lifted it right up. I'll go ahead and show you all the hardware that was necessary for this project. Uh, we got five of these that we made. So there's a bolt, there's a thick gold washer in the center, a washer on both sides, and then the backside nut. So there's five of these that go in and then there's a smaller one for the front, another one for the rear, and then there's two optional holes that you can actually drill through. I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I will show you those at the end of the video. Slide that in place there. Far enough over. I'll go ahead and hold this if you can place these on top again. Remember that? Okay, we good so far? There's a bolt right there. So we're actually, we're actually there. Stuff that under there. Stuff those under there. And do it on the back too, please. 
I got it. All right, so again, if you had a floor jack, it'd be much easier. These are actually the styrofoam packaging that came when they got delivered. You will have to remove this wiring harness right here. I just did the front clip to get that out of the way to clear the bracket. Next up is installing all of these bolts here. So I'm gonna start in the front. So the passenger side went a lot smoother. You actually have to put this in before you put the slider on. This is a bracket that goes up front, which I'll try to show you guys here. We will have to loosen that bolt again. You're killing me small. I know, I'm sorry, are you ready? You ready? Okay guys, so yeah, before you put this on, place that up in this hole of the frame. So to show you a better angle, here's the frame. There's a giant hole in here to put that bracket. That way we can put a bolt up through here and into that plate. The first bolt I'm gonna put back in is the one that's behind this electronics box. So if you can see this hole right where I put my finger right here, I'm gonna put that bolt in, have the nut on the outside, so that way it's nice and flush with this box. The smaller washer on, we have this larger gold washer. These are gonna go on the inside of this hole. Once I kind of wiggle out, there's some brake lines on the inside. I just have to wiggle out of the way just a bit. From the inside here, I actually put these spacers in first and then the bolt, so I didn't have to bend these lines out of the way too much. And then we'll go ahead and snug that up with a 19 millimeter. This is just gonna go right back in like that and I'll put the bolts back on the outside. Moving towards the back, I'm gonna put all of these now the other way. That's the only one that's gonna be in reverse since there's that box on the back side. The brake line is kinda in the way, so I'll show you guys in a minute on the back side. Bend that out just a little bit. This is the back side of that bolt again, if you can see, there's brake wires or brake lines running right through here. So I had to pinch everything on this first. All right, so that's, that's the next one. Now again, I'm not going too tight on these so that we can get all of them done. So for the backside on the passenger, or yeah, on the passenger side, I wasn't able to get this gold uh, washer around, but I went out and I got a longer bolt for the back. So on this side, I'm gonna do that, all three washers. I'm gonna have to run out and get a longer bolt for the passenger side, actually a 14 millimeter socket. I'm gonna go ahead and crank down this side. So just to take a recap real quick, there's one in the back, then there's another one in front of that. This is the only one that goes in backwards. We're kinda halfway in the middle of the doors here. So this one goes on backwards. There's the one down below, and then there's actually two up top here, which I'll get to. I'll have to show you guys. There's a couple things I have to take apart to get to those. I'm gonna feed this nut through there and get it in line. I'm gonna try to push it off with my fingertip. That way it's flat against that plate. Now what I need to do is figure out where the hole in the plate is. We'll go ahead and insert this bolt. And now with the 16 millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one up again. So now onto the last two bolts, and I gotta get way up underneath the truck to be able to show you guys this. If you guys can see, hopefully the lighting is good, I need to take this bracket off to remove this, and then there's actually a plastic piece right here with another bolt on the top that I need to remove. Then I have to stick my hand down this entire frame rail to reach those two bolts that are located on the top side here, so right underneath the front structure. Okay, so I've got this lower bolt out now. This upper bolt that you see, hopefully you guys can see, it's just it's right on the outside here, is gonna remove this inner lining. Okay, so with that all loose, if you guys can see, there's this plastic piece that I'm wiggling right now. Again, I know the lighting isn't the best. Try to work this out as best as I can without breaking it at the same time. I know it's, oh, there we go. Okay, now if you guys can see my hand, I will be able to wiggle it somehow through the brake lines and all the way up that direction. With the same setup, these are the last two that I need to get. I probably should have switched positions with her because she has a smaller hand than me, but I'm going to do my best oh, to get my hand through here. Oh my gosh, we have that much more to go? <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, you guys, she just had a brilliant idea. I'm gonna stick the magnetic extender through here and so can you look through that hole now? I don't know where I am. I'll fill it. Okay. So Gotta keep, keep going. going. Yep. I'll fill it. Okay. So now try to, yeah, try to line it up and tell me where to push as best as possible. You guys, I don't think I could do this without this magnet. There is no way to get your arm all the way through here. All right, guys, she had an, a brilliant idea. I'm not worrying about the, uh, the nut moving around. It should be a locking nut, so we're we don't have to worry about trying to hold on to it. We're working on this backside one again. 
I wasn't able to use that uh, gold washer because the, the it's just a little too short having that on there, the extra thickness. So we'll go ahead and button this up and then I'll show you guys the final product. I've now made it back out to the same spot here where I have the same rock there so you guys can see the after now with the sliders. Again, if anything was kind of sticking out a lot more, you'd definitely be able to see how well they're going to protect the side of the truck. And even with this large mound of dirt, it's getting pretty close there so you guys can see. Again, I like these because they are so flush with the truck. They don't stick out, you know, like out to here or anything like some of the other sliders that I've seen but they definitely look really cool on the truck, give it a lot of protection. So there we have it, you guys, the installation of my Victory 4x4 rock sliders. Overall, it was a pretty easy installation. It just was very time consuming, getting all the bolts and everything to line up and which spacers to use. Every truck is going to be a little different just based on the setup and everything. So just to recap, there's one bolt on each side in the front. There's five of these that run along the outside and then on each side, the back was a little different. On this one, it was here. On the other side, it was just a bit up. Along with the two spots to drill, if you want to go through, so one in the back, one in the front, and that's the same on both sides. That's gonna be more for heavy off-roading. I will end up doing that, I'm just not doing that in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that installation video of the Victory 4x4 Rock Sliders. Definitely check out their website down in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video.